Hello, and welcome to Junk Botics. My name is Andrew. Today I want to start a new tutorial series to show you how to take small toy RC cars, like this one here, or this one, and turn them into a low-cost, easy-to-use robotics development platform. Something like mm, this. All right, <laughs> maybe not something like that. That was a joke. I don't have anything already developed yet, uh, but we're going to get there, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, let's first start off and uh, discuss where you can buy these kinds of uh, vehicles and uh, how much they cost and everything like that, and we'll go from there. So what kind of cars are we looking for? Well, there are a few things we have to consider whenever we're looking for any kind of uh, these kinds of cars. Uh, number one, you're probably going to end up finding mostly things that are what are what I call toy, non-hobby grade RC cars. You're going to find things, you know, like like this. You can see it's not really, you know, it's it's fairly cheaply made, um, good enough for our purposes, but uh, again, it's low cost. Um, or, you know, something like this one, you know, again, it's just, you know, some cheap plastic and whatnot, you know, relatively, it'll be good enough for, uh, for our purposes. So these kinds of vehicles, uh, you know, basically you want to kind of, uh, look and see what kind of size you want and, uh, what kind of terrain you're going to be uh, using it on. You know, if you're going to be using it on mostly flat surfaces, if your robot that you're development, developing is going to be on mostly flat surfaces or low pile carpet or stuff like that, then something like this vehicle, it would be perfect. You know, it's got okay ground clearance, but you probably couldn't drive it through grass or gravel or anything like that. Its tires are relatively smooth, but uh, it would work great on tile, on low carpet. You know, stuff like that, in, an indoor type environment, or even on, uh, you know, like a basketball court or something like that. Uh, if you're looking to do something more in the way of, uh, you know, using, using it on grass or dirt surfaces or something like that, where the terrain isn't super rough, but it's a little bit more rough than, you know, just, a, you know, just an indoor carpet, then a vehicle with uh, better ground clearance, like this one, you know, like a truck type chassis, will actually work better for you. Both of these vehicles are about the same size. Uh, I've got a tape measure here. You know, I can uh, show you here, you know, put it right here. And uh, yeah, you know, you can see that, uh, you know, they're about, oh, a little over a foot long. That one's a little over a foot long. This one's about the, about the same way. So, you know, these are both about the perfect size of what you're looking for. And uh, they're about what you'll find in, in most cases. On the other hand, there are other options. Let me, uh, let me show you some of them. Okay, so here's a couple of smaller options. Uh, these are probably maybe at the uh, smallest that you probably want to go for. Uh, these particular vehicles, again, they're just a, well, just about, about a tad over, or tad under, tad over, tad under, you know, about a foot, again, you know, this one here, you can see it's kind of themed, but uh, yeah, it's about, it's about a little over a foot. Now, you know, there are, again, there are other options. So uh, let me show you some others. All right, so uh, here we have a couple of uh, just bare chassis. They don't have any, uh, they don't have any, uh, you know, plastic cover or anything like that over them. But they're both kind of unique, both kind of different. This is probably, probably the cheapest RC car, toy RC car that you'll ever see. That's just a bare chassis. It's got a a very tiny motor back here. Um, no differential to speak of. It's two wheel drive only. Steering. Fairly knobby tires. It can probably do some limited off roading, but uh, 
it's probably better just to leave this one, this kind of a thing indoors. But the nice thing that it has it has on it that I find very useful for our purposes uh, turning these into a robot is you can see right here and right here, a couple spots up front, easy spots to mount some standoffs that we can then put a platform on top to, you know, put our microcontrollers or whatever else that we want to control this vehicle with. This one here, this one is, uh, it's four-wheel drive. It's, it's actually four-wheel drive and it's got a very unique suspension system that allows it to flex both, uh, both ends like this. I think it was meant to be like a rock crawler or something like that. But it's got, uh, well, it doesn't have a differential on front or rear. It does have uh, four-wheel drive. Where do you get these kinds of vehicles, you might be asking? Well, like I said, you know, I get mine from, uh, you know, I get mine from uh, places, you know, like, you know, thrift stores. Uh, you can find them at, uh, you can find them at, um, you know, yard sales. Yard sales is a good place to uh, find such vehicles at. Um, you could ask, you know, ask around, you know, ask, uh, ask your neighbors, ask your friends, uh, you know, ask your relatives or whatnot. See if they have anything in their junk pile. You might be surprised what they'll, what they'll drag out for you. Now, you know, might not be an RC car, but you might get something else that you could use for some other junk project. I don't know. Um, but they'll always keep you in mind. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's, you know, even better because then you, you know, then you might, you know, just one day come home or something and you find might find a box of goodies in front of your in front of your house you know you can always you know you can always also find find these kinds of these kinds of uh, pre-owned used vehicles um, on uh, on uh, various online auctions or other marketplace uh, type type places uh, people you know people are sometimes uh, selling them um, and uh, you know Worst case scenario, and this isn't really you know to the junk products ethos, but uh, you can buy them brand new. You know, they're it's going to be the most expensive option, but uh, it is possible to buy these kinds of vehicles brand new. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention another place, uh, another way, or another place you can uh, get uh, or find uh, you know RC vehicles, uh, toy RC vehicles is well. <laughs> Literally, look in a junk pile. Um, some cities and you know some towns, municipalities, and whatnot, they have uh, what's called a uh, bulk trash pickup days, and uh, people will leave their uh, their uh, you know junk that they find in their garage or whatnot out by the uh, generally out by the out by the uh, sidewalk or at the edge of the road or whatnot, and uh, you know sometimes there'll be stuff in there that you can use for. Uh, Junk projects, uh, junk botic style projects, um, you know, uh, and sometimes you will find an RC vehicle in there. It may not be in the best shape, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, whatever you do, though, you know, if you do find such a thing, if you find a nice pile and, you know, you think that, you know, you're not, you're not sure if it actually is for bulk trash pickup or whatnot, go up to the door and knock on it. Ask the neighbor, ask whoever it is. Find out, make sure that uh, that you can rummage through your pile, you know. They might not want you to rummage through your pile at all. If they don't, just say thank you and walk away. Otherwise, uh, whenever you rummage through it, make sure that whatever you do, you know, pick up after yourself, you know. Don't leave a don't leave a mess for them or anybody else. Actually try to try to leave it neater than you found it. Um, but uh, you know, sometimes you may find something in these junk piles that is a little bit more than uh, than you want, but you might want to take it anyhow. All right, well, so here you can see we have uh, kind of something that's on the upper end of the scale of things. This is actually a recent purchase. Literally bought it last week. Um, this particular, this is an RC car. Um, it is pretty big. Uh, we're looking at it. It's topping in at close to two feet long. Um, yeah, and uh, width. Well, it's about uh, it's about 14 inches wide. It, uh, however, only costs five dollars and fifty cents from uh, my favorite thrift store. Here we can see <laughs> fairly basic chassis. 
It's not four wheel drive, despite it being called a Jeep. It's a four wheel drive. It's a two wheel drive Jeep. Make it into a, you know, a postal carrier Jeep. It's got a straight axle, not even a differential. You can see, you can see the kind of difference in uh, quality depending on uh, what you get. You know, this is straight axle, kind of probably better since it's two wheel drive. However, you know, this uh, it does have like some kind of little suspension system in it. No, well, I'm looking at it. I hadn't actually looked at it when I before I, afterward, but it looks like it actually has. Uh, you can kind of see there. Actually has the uh, some lights on the front, actual headlights. Um, doesn't have any tail lights though. You you can fix that uh, if you really wanted to. Um, but yeah, you know, real basic, real basic RC vehicle here. Great, uh, great little thing. You can see. It's got pretty good suspension, you know. This thing can probably, you know, you can probably run it off a, run it off a stairway and it survive just fine. Wouldn't recommend it, but it probably could. Um, so you know, just another option, you know, just something else that, that you know. These are these are the kinds of things you can find out there. I didn't get this. Uh, I didn't get this particular one. From a thrift store or anywhere else. I actually got this one off of. And it's actually, uh, well, it's actually a, uh, it's actually meant as a kind of more as a, a parts vehicle more than anything else, uh, because, um, well, you know, I uh, I actually took another one that uh, I got from a brother-in-law of mine and uh, well, basically turned it into a, not quite a robot, but. You know, an unmanned ground vehicle, something I could drive around it. Yeah, well, let me show it to you. <laughs> All right, so here it is. This is the same exact vehicle as that other one, but uh, with the shell stripped off and a few other parts stripped off. And uh, I added a, added a little uh, homemade pan tilt unit here, um, made with a couple of uh, RC uh, servos. And uh, some little bit of aluminum, uh, aluminum uh, strips and whatnot. And a camera used to be um, be mounted here. I, I don't know where the camera is anymore. I took it off uh, for some reason. And uh, so you know, it was a very basic setup. I had uh, you know essentially the radio controls that were meant for uh, this to control it, and then I had separate radio controls uh, to control this uh, to allow me to pan and tilt the uh, camera and then the camera was wireless uh, back to a back to a receiver and uh, I had I had built this quite a while back and uh, I don't know it was always something that uh, was going to be uh, turned into something and uh, well things went in a different way all right so originally this uh, this vehicle actually uh, actually came with some you know interesting uh, interesting funny options the uh, radio controls actually allowed you to you could you could uh, hit a button and these lights would light up and uh, it would sound a horn that sounded like a ram's horn. You can see it <laughs> reads Raminator. Uh, I don't know, it, this may have actually been like, I don't know, some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, monster truck uh, thing back in the day. I don't know. I, I don't follow that stuff much. Um, but it had like engine noises and uh, whatnot that you could, that you could think. Well, Whenever I whenever I uh, converted it over to the uh, to the unmanned ground vehicle concept thing, I took uh, I took all those sound pieces and stuff out. Um, didn't need them, you know. Just just needed it, you know. It, fortunately, you could take you could disconnect all that, and it didn't care. It still worked just fine. Um, but uh, yeah, you know these uh, this uh, this particular this particular machine. Let's see this particular machine. You can see it is well over two feet long well over two feet long and its width is about 16 inches 16 inches wide um, you know check out these <laughs> check out these check out these tires these tires these things are like size size of a coke can like seven and a half inches seven and a half inches tall literally the size of a coke can I don't I don't have a coke can ready that I could show you but yeah. All right, well, that does it for this first video in this series. 
If you guys have any questions or ideas for projects or something you want to share, please leave me some comments down below. And if you guys liked what you saw, please subscribe. Please share this with your friends. Let me let them know what let, let them know what I'm doing here. And you know, hey, you know, I'll take your likes as well. Until next time, remember, keep calm and keep junkin'. Thanks. <laughs>